17 News is your local election headquarters, and we are now less than two months away from the 2022 primary election here in California. And we are continuing to sit down with the candidates you will see on your ballot. This week, we are taking a closer look at those running for the Central Valley's contentious 22nd Congressional District. 17's Maddie Gannon back with us again in studio with more. Maddie. Jim, this district is considered one of the biggest toss-ups in the nation that could help determine which party controls the House next year. Now, the district includes parts of Kern, Kings, and Tulare counties, stretching from Arvin up to Hanford and encompassing a portion of Bakersfield. It is a Latino majority district, with Latinos making up almost 60% of the population. Democrats out-register Republicans here by over 16%, but Republicans have seen high turnout in this area before. And the Candidates in this race are Republican incumbent David Valadeo, Republicans Chris Matisse and Adam Medeiros, and Democrat Rudy Salas. Yesterday, we saw profiles on Matisse and Medeiros. Tonight, we are taking a closer look at 45-year-old current Bakersfield Assemblyman Rudy Salas. Rudy Salas says his interest in holding public office came at an early age, sparked by his boyhood streets in Bakersfield near the Kern County Fairgrounds. Growing up in that part of, of the city, you know, it's a little bit rougher, it's a little bit tougher, but, you know, you grew up asking things like, you know, why aren't my streets fixed? Why is every time the police come to my neighborhood, they're looking for somebody? Why aren't they doing, like, outreach programs or after-school programs? When I was up, the 45-year-old says those those same questions have driven him ever since in a political career that has now spanned well over a decade. After graduating from UCLA with degrees in history and political science, Salas worked as a counselor at Cal State Bakersfield and district director for State Senator Dean Flores. In 2010, he became the first Latino elected to Bakersfield City Council. Two years later, he left the council before his term was up to head to Sacramento to represent Bakersfield in the 32nd Assembly District. You know, being in the Assembly for 10 years has definitely taught me a lot of things about how to get things done, how to get people on board with your issues. Salas says he's particularly proud of the work he's done for Valley Fever Research, as well as the funds he's brought in to build an emergency response center in Kings County More and invest in Cal State in Bakersfield and Bakersfield College's nursing programs. Investment in our rural community. But over his time in the state legislature, the Democratic Assemblyman has been known to stray from his party on occasion. I'm always going to do what I think is right for Central Valley families and you know whether that's a Democratic idea, a Republican idea, an independent idea. Salas points to 2017 when he was the only Democrat to vote against increasing the state's gasoline tax. It's because that was the right vote for our Central Valley families. That was the right vote for people on a fixed income. Although recently, Salas missed two votes on a Republican-led effort to suspend the gas tax amid soaring prices at the pump, saying he had a family funeral. I stand before you to announce my candidacy for Congress. Woo! Now, as the only blue candidate in one of the most competitive congressional races in the nation, Democrats across the country are throwing their support behind Salas, hoping they can flip the seat from red to blue. Salas is determined to make that happen and believes it's his track record, not party affiliation, that separates him from the other candidates. I've proven over the last decade that I've been able to deliver for Central Valley families. So whether that's direct uh, funding in millions of dollars to expand nursing programs, bring new buildings, public safety, uh, clean drinking water, you know, there's a big difference between me and my opponent. As always, you can go to our website, kgt.com, or scan this QR code on your screen to see a full list of everyone running for office here in Kern. Tomorrow, we will have more on Republican incumbent David Valadeo. And if you want to know which congressional district you live in, you can go to house.gov and click on Find Your Representative. In studio, Maddie Gannon, 17 News.